Um, what is the soul, nafs? Um, is it something that talks to us like shaitan? And what is the difference between me and my nafs? And how can I control my nafs to reach the point to make my nafs give me the right advice? Very good question. Uh, inshallah we can talk about it a little bit. It's not aqidah. But, um, you know, Imam al-Ghazali, may Allah be pleased with him, in the second half of Ihya, he has Aja'ib al-Qalb. And one of the things he says there, these are really amazing. This is actually about Maratib al-Wujud. Imam al-Ghazali is very shar'i. Imam al-Ghazali is very careful in the Ihya, never to go outside the Sharia. He wants to do Ihya ulum al deen He wants to bring the deen to light. He wants you to understand the secrets of wudu, the secret secrets of salah, the secrets of saum, so that you believe in this religion. And his book is very beneficial. Very, very beneficial. But when he talks about Aja'ib al-Qalb in part two of the Ihya, one of the things he says is that, that these are words that all mean the same thing. The nafs, the aql, the qalb, and the ruh. They're all the same things. And, um, you know, they, uh, when, you know, they are not properly developed, you know, then, you know, they can have certain negative properties. But as they are developed, as they are trained, as they are purified, then the nafs becomes an aql, it becomes a ruh, you know, it becomes a qalb, and it receives these great things. So this is purification of the heart. It's one of the most important tasks of all. And this is the secret of the path of ihsan. You know, and ta'abud Allah ka'annaka tara. Fa'in lam takun tarahu fa'innuhu yara. And that takes good company. You know, I believe this is good company. I believe all of you are good company. But we need to keep good company. And also you have to have people who understand these things. And, you know, who can guide us along this path.